Acura MDX has been all new redesigned from the ground up for 2022. I'm Jeff Teague, this is Auto Jeff Reviews, and I'm here to tell you about the changes and to tell you why this may be one of the best SUVs under $60,000 you've ever seen. This color is liquid carbon metallic. It's beautiful, it shines in the light, it sparkles, and it shows off the longer MDX. It's all new redesigned, it's got a longer wheelbase, and then it has a 3.5 liter V6 engine, naturally aspirated, along with a 10 speed automatic transmission with paddle shifter ability, so you can have that more high performance feel. It also comes with double wishbone front suspension, so you feel glued to the road going around turns when you're doing high performance, when you're doing just regular lazy driving on a Sunday like today. Let's walk around this one here and you can see the front end. It's got a redesigned front grille. And actually, I'll tell you, my friends and I debated about whether this looks like hyperspace lines from Star Wars or Game of Thrones dragons. Which way are you leaning on this particular one? Several points that I'm gonna make about the front end. See, what's nice about this one is it's a family three row SUV, right? But it's sleek, it's aerodynamic. Flowing lines. It's got several upgrades thanks to the technology package and the A-Spec package. Let's give some of my impressions first of all. The thing I really like, and you'd expect this in a luxury SUV perhaps, perhaps you wouldn't. It's got smart key auto unlock on both the front and the rear doors, all four doors and the back hatch. So five door, just put your hand on the handle, automatically unlocks. But not only that, if you do it from here, there, or there, it unlocks all the doors. So that's convenient if you've got multiple travelers. And of course, we've got this too, where it just opens up the driver's door. You hit lock right here, it's beeping because I've got the key outside of the car. All right, it's got power folding mirrors. You can operate those when you lock and unlock your vehicle or you can just hit the button on the inside. I know where it is, so I can hit it. Hit it! All right, turn signal indicators in the side mirror. It's also got blind spot monitor, and the place that Acura puts it is right here. It's in the A-pillar, just between the A-pillar, really, and the side mirror, so it's a place where you'd be looking anyway to see if you're gonna be hitting somebody if you go over, so it shows vehicles as they approach. That's nice. The other things that I like about this, look at these gloss black accents. That's thanks to the A-Spec package. That's an appearance and sport package, and you see them along here as well. Look at these wheels. Let's take a look at these wheels here. There are several different wheel appearance and size packages that you can choose. These are 20 inch alloy wheels. They're a shark gray color. So imagine a baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then imagine this, and I think you'll see a match here. Of course, in Chrome, it's got the Acura logo here. It's also got wide tires here, so you feel more fixed to the road, and I'm talking about the high performance country road, twisty turny driving, you feel like you're in control. You can see this three dimensional design here for the rear tail lights, LED lights, that wraps around the side, giving a very unique, sporty, sort of in your face look, and it looks great at nighttime too. Of course, SH all wheel drive, that's the super handling all wheel drive where it allows all four wheels to do work for you, MDX. And then we've got our backup camera here. Notice the gloss black accents along the bumper. And then we've got rear parking sonar and that matches the front parking sonar as well. Now what's unique about this, a lot of people are going with this design here and it's really just for looks. Not so much in this case. That's right, we're gonna go underneath and see the dual exhaust that's functional. Look at that. They look great and they serve a purpose. And you can have a different type of exhaust sound too based on the driving mode that you use. And I'll show you about the five different driving styles that you can choose from. One of those is sport. MDX has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. And then if we hold this and lift, I say rise like Dr. Frankenstein, rise my child. All right, several different ways we can configure the cargo capacity, and there's more cargo capacity than ever. Up to 3.3 cubic feet behind either the second or the third row. You can have all the seats up if you want, and look how easy that is. 
you can configure it for storage, for groceries, or road tripping it when you've got just front seat passengers, or you can go ahead and add a real big flare here and put all the seats down. Now we have up to 95 cubic feet of total cargo capacity, which allows us to do so many different things. Talk about a versatile back end. This is what I call crouching tiger, hidden Jeff. But look here, if you're on a road trip and you need to, blanket, pillows right here, it's completely flat. So it's great for stacking boxes if you're moving your kid into the dorms. If you're going on a road trip, pack your cooler, your ice chest, your luggage, your tackle box, all that jazz, and you can sleep in it too. If it's too bright, we got sunshades. Holla! Take a look at me now, because I've got two levels. I don't think Phil Collins said that. But anyway, look at this. You've got two different sides. One is more of an all-weather side. One is more of a carpeted side. There's no more about it, it is. You could just wipe this right out, nice and easy. But look at this. You can store it flat, or if you want room, you can make 80% more room here. Look at that. Now you've got extra space where you can just store up, stack up. Some other random observations. This is your jack equipment right here, kind of hidden away. Lock it back up. You lock it up. You lock it up. Lock it up. You lock it up. All right, let's look in here. We've got a 12 volt. How does that go? There it goes. From, of course, why didn't I know that? It exposes the 12 volt circular port. And then right here, this is a good hook. It says it has three kilogram max. So maybe you could put a bag or something like that, an activity bag, something. And then a nice pocket here to store whatever you want to. Again, it exposes more cargo space that you might need, especially on a trip. Again, remember how easy it is to lower these back seats. Hey, if you look real close in the front seat, you can see my Verners. Does anybody know Verners? Does anybody remember Laughter? Let's get in this bad boy. I name him Liquid Fire. Why? Because of the exterior and the red interior combination. I love it. We're gonna check out the turning radius here. Why is that important? Because have you ever tried to get in a left turn lane at a traffic light and you need to get in the next lane over? Can this do it? Or maybe you just need to do a U-turn and it's really difficult. This one has such agile, tight, responsive turning. It's just under 21 feet turning radius. And I'm telling you, that's remarkable. Look at this. Look at the agility here. How nimble this car is. This is a mid-sized SUV, a luxury SUV. Woo! That's impressive. Me likey. Yeah, me likey a lot. There's no real good way to do this right now, but we're gonna get a close up because I do wanna show you the LED lights that come on this one here. LED daytime running lights and a jewel pattern, jewel LED headlights. Boy, do they shine wide. I notice on my garage, they shine up high. And where that might benefit you is just being seen better on the road or on a country road. You can see deer on the side or other obstacles that you might've missed. And then this right here, because we've got the upgraded package, we're gonna get LED jewel fog lights. Those are so cool. And then we see gloss black accents as well. This is not functional, but it helps with aerodynamics and airflow. And then we could see parking sonar as well. Look at this, that is so cool. Chewy. We're about to make the jump to light speed. I want to talk about lines here because what you see on this massive and sloped hood here, lots of vertical lines. It's like you want your running backs to be in football, you know? Run vertically. This one runs vertically. I'm big on the OCD. I'm really big on OCD. And this is one of the things that I notice, symmetry, right? 
We've all got our quirks, don't judge me. But anyway, this one right here comes to a point almost, right in the front, it comes to a point, and see that the back here slopes to a point as well. So we've got almost a, kind of like a diamond or an arrowhead pattern here, but it shows. Whew. What's nice about this is it has pneumatic lifts that slowly and safely raise the hood. It's also got soundproofing material here. Again, this is a 3.5 liter, naturally aspirated V6 engine. It produces 290 horsepower, 267, 267. Don't go too fast, Jeff. Foot pounds of torque, all right? It's matched with the 10 speed automatic transmission. It's very, very smooth accelerating between zero and your top cruising speed. And that's whether you're just poking around on a Sunday afternoon or whether you're ready to beat somebody at the line. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Prius, it's go time, right? It's really smooth shifting. You hardly feel it at all. So that's a benefit and that adds to ride comfort, all right? It's got a new double wishbone front suspension along with a longer wheelbase and they kind of work in combination with each other. The result is a quieter ride, less vibration, less ambient noise, but also tight cornering and performance. So you kind of get the added benefit of everything. It is literally raining right now and the sun's out. This is crazy. It's cray cray, yo. All right, dynamic driving. You can do it five different ways. Let's check it out. Here's our first look at the controls. And why do I want to tell you that? Because we're talking about performance. So dynamic mode right here, what that does is it adjusts the feel, the driving and the performance. So let's switch that over. We're just gonna be in normal mode right now. I love that schematic there. We're in normal mode and it says it. So we're just gonna get the perfect combination of low noise, agility, but also comfort and efficiency. Let's say we wanna be a little bit more comfortable. Let's change it to comfort mode. Again, you feel it soften, it's a lighter, softer steering wheel, less throttle response. It's just, I guess it reminds me of um, if you wanna just ride in comfort, in style, it's so soft. Does that make sense? Cause that's what it is. Now let's go with snow mode. Snow mode's cool cause it's got a really cool graphic. That gives you optimal traction so that all four wheels are able to do the work they need to do when you have wheel slippage, the snow. I guess that's why they call it snow. All right, let's go to sport mode. Sport mode. Lando would be like, I don't know why the hyperdrive's not working. It's not my fault. But anyway, I'm a big Star Wars fan. So here we got better throttle response, a firmer, tighter steering wheel, certainly tighter steering response so you have a more high performance feel and drive. You can also hear it more too. Very, I guess more high performance exhaust sound with that. Now let's go to individual mode. That allows you to change five different. Five different variables. You can change engine, steering comfort, suspension, lighting, gauge, and that's the uh, idle, start, stop. So you can change all those. Let's do that. Do we want sport? Sport, normal, or comfort? Okay, let's go back. Engine, comfort, normal. And you can see how we're talking about customizing. The steering, do you want a more sportier drive, a sportier drive? A Maybe a softer one. Select the gauges to be displayed in the driver information interface. My channel, and you'll probably see this in this review, is I try to appeal to everybody. I want to appeal to people who want to know performance metrics, people who want to know ride comfort and how you would position the seating. Basically, regular car reviews for just about everybody. Sometimes we tech it up, sometimes we dummy it down, but we want to make sure everybody gets a firm understanding, and that's what we do on my channel. Let's look inside the interior and I want you to see all the different color combinations and accents. So let your senses be aware of what we're looking at here because we're not just looking at the overwhelming feature of red seats. There is so much color contrast and I appreciate that. You'll be seeing 
you'll be seeing brushed silver, you'll be seeing chrome, black, charcoal, lots of gloss black going on. So let's look in here. Here's what's nice. I find the second row to be extremely spacious, really good headroom. You can see the start of a panoramic roof. Great comfort in the back. I've had passengers all week and they really think the ride comfort is so smooth and so comfortable. Very comfortable. I don't think I said comfortable the right way the first time. But you know what you can also do is you can take out this seat right here so you can get to the back. How about that, folks? Why would you not take me at my word? Yeah, we can do it. See that? Comes right out. Now we've got a walkway. Holla. It's like the price is right. Jeff Teague, come on down. Dun, dun, da, da. Dun, dun, da, da. It's not the biggest third row I've ever seen. But again, you can adjust the middle seats to give them a little bit less room. And now I have fantastic, fantastic leg room here. This is a little bit tight. So when you got it all the way back, it'd be great for kids or in a pinch when everybody wants to go in the same car to a restaurant. Maybe you got family visiting from out of town. But yeah, this isn't bad. Now here, this is optimal. Imagine you have five people, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm stretching my legs out. I like this. Patent the idea, Jeff. No one's ever thought of that, ever. I don't have enough leg room. Let's give me some more. All right, I like that. And then I can recline this far so I can watch the stars at nighttime with my panoramic roof. Or I can go all the way up. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, so see? And then this could be the third seat. It's a nice wide one too. And it folds down for cup holders, which my family liked when they evaluated it. I like the seat pocket here. It's tight, it would hold iPads without falling. Same thing here. I love the USB ports here and the 12 volt, along with the rear temperatures. Really, really nice. Let's see what this does. Oh, let there be light. Let there be light. Expose it for everyone. Yeah, why not? That's cool. So this one opens up and it opens up just about all the way. And then this one is fixed, but it also gives you light, but it looks like it shades you from some sun too, which is nice. And then if you want to be protected a little bit more, sunshades, right? That'll help. Especially if you got kids that can't really control what the sun's doing to them. Perfect. Here's the panoramic roof. From as far up above as my five foot eight frame can do. And then we'll look at it from the front seat perspective as well. That's cool. Now looking at this here, look at the color contrast, especially in the seats. Red leather with ultra suede inserts. The seats are very, we'll call them form fitting if we can, but they cradle you, but they're comfortable. And see, red is not dominating. It's prominent, but it's not all red. And I love the breakup in colors here. You can see that from the metallic power driver seat controls. Thanks to the A-Spec, we've got sport pedals. What was that A-Spec? Don't forget about me. This is for the power lift gate. We've got an aluminum housing here for the ELS Studio 3D, one of 16 speakers. This is gonna be your ambient lighting. I'm gonna try to find a way to show you that, but it's daytime, it's really tough. And the driver's side, three different memory settings. Three! That's not all though. Look at this, we're coming on in. Three settings also for the passenger. And we all know in most cars, the passenger doesn't get the same benefits that the driver does. 
Yes, they do in this case. Really impressive. Okay, power folding mirrors. We've seen it from one angle, so let's see it from another. Just use this button right here. And this is where the blind spot monitor is. It lights up amber orange color, sort of yellowish, right there. And it's in that pillar where you're going to be looking to see if anybody's there anyway. And then of course we've got our window and mirror adjustments. Then down here we've got electronic parking brake. Here we've got brightness of the dash, tells you about your safety features, traction control on and off, and then your parking sensors as well. Check out the steering wheel. You can do this manually or you can use your memory seats. But it goes a big distance tilting and telescoping and it does it quickly. These are your paddle shifters that you can use to simulate your more one with the road experience, right? Got a leather wrapped steering wheel with red accent stitching. Again, black and red is certainly the prominent color combination you see here. But again, it's broken up with metallic accents all throughout. The controls are actually really easy to use once you get used to the layout and the functions for each of them. We've got your lane departure alert and radar cruise control. Here's your cruise control settings. This goes through some of your information on your car. This right here controls different information that you see behind the steering wheel and your information display. It's all new, right? We can go through music. If you have music on, we can switch to Apple CarPlay or we can even switch to, for the first time ever, Amazon Alexa. And I choose to not say that name. I call her A-Train so that way it won't mess up my video recording. But these are the commands that you can use. You can check weather, navigation, settings. It can tell you more about the Acura MDX. It can do so many different commands, the same ones that you can do in your home. Huge benefit there. I find the seat to be very comfortable here. It does wrap around me, but it's not confining by any means. It's firm, but yet soft, if that makes sense. So for me, it doesn't feel high performance. It feels more sport luxury. Now I can change my settings for my seats. I can change, this is for the two setting. Ooh. And I can also change it Back to a one. Let's talk about the information display, 12.3 inches. And of course it plays Apple CarPlay. It plays A-Train, Android Auto, it does it wirelessly. And then it's got 16 speakers. So we can just get a little sampling right here of what we might see. And remember I told you it has four high line speakers up above and you can control the settings up above based on what type of sound you want coming from any of them pretty much, any of the zones. The multimedia screen is a good size and it projects nicely for both the driver, the passenger, and the back seat, folks. Now, this is not controlled through touch, at least not like you'd imagine. It's too far away to be practical as a touch screen. So what you're gonna use is this intuitive touchpad here. And I've got a nice little setup here. It takes a little bit of getting used to. There's a learning curve, but if you know that going into it, you're not gonna know everything all at once. So it's got a nice, we'll call it the elbow and armrest, but also look at this, a wrist guard for those people with carpal tunnel, but it also makes it easy. If I'm tooling down the road with one hand, I can just rest it right here. I know that's not what you heard in driver's training. Nine and three, nine and three, hands on 10 and two. And once I get used to it, we can just Use the touchpad. If I wanna to get to the home, I go to the home screen. If I wanna to go to Sirius XM, I just swipe up to the upper left corner. Android Auto, same thing. If I wanna to go to the A-Train, I come down to the lower corner. And then you could just kinda of swipe across with that pleasant shh, shh, shh. Pretty neat, right? So that's kinda of how that works. And then we can also control our secondary screen right here. Like that. For me, the use of gloss black accents, both a pro and a con. So I can put them on my Benjamin Franklin list of pros and cons. It's gonna fit both categories because it looks fantastic. It looks really sharp. The one thing I notice is I do get a little bit of glare, especially if the sun's hitting it just right. So I kind of look away a little bit. 
this is really cool. We've got our push button start and it looks sporty, right? Now, if I want USB port, we gotta be connected, right? We've got our USB-C, our USB ports. They're hidden away because you don't need them all the time, but when you do, well, what if I want another one? I'm gonna go up here and look at this. Fits some of my video equipment. It also fits the power outlet, the 12 volt circular. Look at this, I've got a USB stick in here that shows the ELS Studio 3D. So several different ways where you can keep connected in here. And if I wanna open up just the top, I push this button. So now it's a two story. All right, a 15 watt wireless charger and look how wide and long it is. It fits just about all of the bigger phones, probably all of them actually, because my iPhone 12 fit nicely with room on all sides nice deep cup holders what does it fit i always like to say does it fit small things yes does it fit big things this right here is my water bottle that i got off of my amazon top picks list you can see it in the description section and then the touchpad this goes volume and that's really easy once you get used to it it's not this one it's this one right here really easy and then i can tool through my songs, doot, 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 doot. but I can also do it with doot, 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 doot. just like that. So you push across. All right. If you don't like the idling to stop, you just turn that off. Just like that. Some people don't want their engine to shut off at traffic lights. Brake hold that holds you in place for a short time while you're at a traffic light. You can stretch out your legs. Don't look at my socks. Yeah, it's got fish on it. All right, so then right here, we've got a very unusual system for park, reverse, neutral, drive. Here's what's cool about it. Park, neutral, easy, drive, it's in drive. Reverse, we're going backward and now we can see our backup camera as well. And I'll tell you, this is handy for when you're in parking lots. Okay, let's go forward now. Pretty clever, folks. Air conditioning, it's dual temperature controls, and also it has the rear settings as well. You can actually lock this, so if you've got small children and you don't want them playing with the temperature settings and controls, well, they get locked out. But anyway, this is at low because they want it cooler. And then different, just tweak it like that. Pretty simple stuff. Hey, look at this. We've got cooled seats with three different settings, actually four, including off. And then we got heated, but, Based on the temperature, you can actually adjust this to auto. Based on the temperature, the inside, the outside, in different conditions, that puts you at auto and it will automatically set what it thinks you need for your temperature control. So that's kind of cool. Or you can do it on your own. And remember when I showed you the dynamic control settings? It's right here snow, comfort, normal, sport, or if you press it, you can individualize. The fuel mileage, for me, I'm averaging, it's supposed to average a combined 21. I've been kind of riding it hard, so it's gonna be right at about 20.8 while I've been driving it. An average conservative driver will probably get much higher. That's just, now I wanna check out my safety settings so you can actually turn them on and off. Really good safety features here that help prevent accidents and keep you alert and less distracted. We've got road departure mitigation, blind spot, low speed braking control, collision mitigation. All right, here we go. It's on, it's off. We do that just with this little button right here. A Couple other things, where to find the manual? Well, in the glove box. There's a lot of information, a lot of technology, and it fits other information that you want to put in there too. And if you're looking for another power port, here's another 12 volt circular right in here. It's kind of hidden away, but now you know where it is. Let's check out some other features. I call these the intangibles. These are small features that you wouldn't normally notice, 
but I'm going to point them out to you. We got to have sliders on our visors, right? We got to block out as much sun as possible. It is lighted, both driver and passenger. We've got the oblique handles all around. And now that panoramic moonroof sunglass holder. Okay, this right here, let's say you want just a little bit of light. You can open it all the way, some of the way. And then from this angle, you can vent it or you can open it. And I love how it goes almost all the way mid back, almost 50% of the way, all the way back. Really cool stuff. Auto dimming rear view mirror, got programming for garage door or security systems, that kind of stuff. This part right here is going to be where we check out the features in the back and then I show you from the back what it actually looks like here. Hmm. Two different USB ports for charging and 12 volt. And then we've got temperature controls here and look how cool it starts. Let's blast it. Oh, see that blasts out really well because we got to make sure that backseat passengers are going to be comfortable and it does it fast. Now let's look here. Nice big windows for the size of vehicle that it is. So visibility is good. What are you guys thinking about the red interior? How do you like the gloss black? A lot of silver bling going on here. We got some swag. How does it look? And obviously the biggest consideration in this review is how does the panoramic roof work for singing? It's an awesome panoramic roof. Panoramic, do, 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 do. panoramic, oh, 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 woo! Ambient lighting. See the red strip here? Watch me be able to change that. Very cool. I've got it set for dynamic mode, so every time I change it, we'll look down here. Watch this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to settings. Go down to vehicle. Lighting setup. Accent light theme. Watch this. You can either change it to dynamic mode if it's there. When you're in sport mode, it's going to be red. When you're in comfort mode, it's going to be blue. But let's keep going down. Look at all the different types, 27 different ones. So if I want purple, I can do purple. If I want green, I can do green. If I want Atlantic Road, I got that one. What else can we do? So imagine how that would be intensifying at nighttime. Ambient lighting, give that a try. For those of you new to my channel, I always try to show a window sticker of the exact vehicle or one similar so that we can tell specifications and pricing. This one's not liquid carbon metallic, but it is Apex Blue Pearl. Here's the fuel mileage, 21 combined. And remember, I'm getting about 20.9, 20.8. So I'm driving it kind of hard. It's a little bit less. Average conservative drivers might get more, but you get up to 25 on the highway. This car right here starts from the factory at 57,000. And where's the factory? Well, final assembly is in East Liberty, Ohio. Let's look at some features that are standard on it. 290 horsepower, 267 foot-pounds of torque with that VTEC V6 engine. 10-speed automatic transmission. Remember, it has that on-demand all-wheel drive that sends more torque to the back wheels. Here are the safety features. Lots of different airbags, including a passenger seat airbag that actually protects you sort of like a catcher's mitt. So that's really good technology and it should give you more peace of mind. 
There are so many features to look at on the interior, but feel free to stop the video when you want to, to look a little bit closer. Remember, both the driver and the passenger have 12-way power seats, tri-zone automatic climate control, has that Alexa built in, which is really nice, a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. You need to sign up for a subscription, but you've got it. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, big things. Big, big things. Panoramic moonroof, standard. 20 inch alloy wheels. We've got the shark, that shark gray, right? Jewel eye LED headlights, LED tail lights. It's a lot to see here. And then the tech package. What does that add in? Navigation and voice recognition, rain sensing wipers, that ambient cabin control light. I like that, huh? Low speed braking control, power folding side mirrors, second row sunshades, and the parking sensors. Now the A spec. Here's what we got here, baby. Woo! We got the styling package, lots of gloss black inside and out. All right. We've got the premium audio Acura ELS Studio 3D, 710 watts. Leather seats, red and black in this case, with ultra suede insert sport pedals, heated and cooled seats, and also LED fog lights. Here's some more safety features. All right, let's go back to this pricing here. You can see the warranty information as well. We have to get it delivered from the factory all over the US. It'll be 58,625. And the safety ratings are not rated quite yet. Thanks for watching everybody. What do you think of MDX? Are you a fan of the changes? What do you like most about it? The interior? the buttons, the gadgets, the technology, the safety systems, performance, versatility. What do you like best about it? Maybe it's appearance. It could be anything. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Also, leave a comment and let me know what vehicle you'd like me to review. And also, what vehicles are your favorites and what ones don't you like and why? So that we can get a barometer, a gauge, a platform, a baseline. So we can build on that and grow together. We gotta learn about everything, right? All right, thank you guys so much. Leave a comment, hit a like, hit a subscribe. It's getting windy out here. It's wind, it's rain, and it's full sunshine. It's the most bizarre day ever. There have been worse, but you know what I mean. Anyway, you can follow me on Instagram at Auto Jeff Reviews. You can check out my website, autojeff.com. You guys are great. See you next review.